Hello, my name is Peter Banks, and I am the administrator here at St. John College in Dimapur, Nagaland. Now, we have admissions started for our first semester. Uh, since we're not waiting for CUET here, and you can take direct admission with your class 12 results, people are coming and uh, taking admission already. So we are having plenty of questions about uh, NEP 2020 and the new syllabus that is coming in. So to save me repeating myself, I thought to prepare a little presentation on uh, the new educational policy. And maybe I would mention some history, but I think really that you just want to crack on and learn uh, what is important about this NEP. If you really want to read my notes, go back and press pause. Let's focus on the important things. Firstly, NEP is aiming to transform the undergraduate education by providing broad-based, flexible curriculum. There are multiple entry and exit points. There is something called an academic bank of credits, which will help you move between institutions and also potentially take some courses outside of the institution. Uh, there's also a focus on research and innovation. And we'll cover all of these points a little bit more as we go through. But let's crack on with the most important points. So what is the FYUGP or the four-year undergraduate program? Now, a lot of people are concerned about the name, four years. Most of you were maybe expecting three, but do not worry. It is not always four years. And this system could also be called the as long as you want undergraduate program because there are multiple entry and exit points. You may take one year and leave, and you would leave with a certificate. You could finish two years and leave with a diploma. You may cover three years and leave with an undergraduate degree. So you get a degree after three years only, and after four years, you will graduate with a degree with honors. You may take up to seven years to complete your degree. So you can take uh, three years out uh, within your program. The postgraduate courses will also change. So if you do complete four years at your undergraduate level, you will now only require one year master's. If you want to do a two year master's uh, in the traditional system, you can still leave after three years with your UG degree and do a two year master's. But if you complete four, then it's a one year master's and it's still five years to get a master's. And the big benefit uh, for those of you who want to go for a PhD, if you are a talented student and able to maintain a CGPA of 7.5 or above, you may go directly from the fourth year undergraduate program into a PhD without having to concern yourself with a master's in between, thus saving yourself a year. It's also uh, worth mentioning, uh, those of you who are planning to go for competitive exams, UPSC, for example, the eligibility criteria for that presently is an undergraduate degree, which is what you will have after three years. So if that is direct, definitely uh, the route you want to go down, you do not need to do a fourth year. Nothing changes for you. It's a three-year undergraduate degree program you will take up and then go for your uh, coaching and competitive exams as you originally planned. So let's have a little uh, closer look at uh, structure and uh, terminology under this program. Again, press pause if you want to read in detail. But the key points are that you will now have a major discipline, something like your old honors paper, which will be your core subject and the degree will be awarded in that subject. For example, you will have a BA in history or a BA in economics if you've taken up uh, that as your major. The minor paper is something like the old past paper and uh, should broaden your understanding within that area. So if you're a historian, maybe you're going to take up a Paul Science or a philosophy paper. If you're a zoologist, maybe you will take something from botany. Uh, or chemistry, whatever is appropriate for you. Additional to those papers, there are ability enhancement courses, skill enhancement courses, interdisciplinary courses, and value-added courses, which all, in one way or another, are designed to give you a broad base in your education. So if we look at the structure, 
say bye bye to me for a moment. Um, this is the structure for a regular honors uh, or major program under Nagaland University. Other institutions may differ slightly from this. Um, you'll see there you've got core papers, minor papers, interdisciplinary, ability enhancement, skill enhancement, and value added courses. Um, in the first semester under interdisciplinary, you'll be taking EDS. You'll have an English paper. You'll have uh, one skill enhancement course, uh, which you can choose from a pool. Uh, your major paper, you'll be taking two. So if you're a history major, you'll do two history papers. Uh, maybe you've selected Paul Science as your minor. You will take one minor paper in Paul Science. Uh, that minor paper will be uh, the same course or syllabus as C1, that is the core course from uh, the major syllabus. So if you're wondering what you're going to study in your minor, uh, look up the relevant uh, syllabus from the major paper and you will find what you will study there. Papers, your minor papers, can be selected every semester as per the student's interest. So you can take history in the first semester, you could take pulse science in the second, philosophy in the third, economics in the fourth. Um, it will be up to you to understand uh, what is there in the syllabus. Uh, we will have an orientation program every semester and the teachers will guide you. Um, but ultimately, the choice is yours. Now, a student gaining 12 credits that's three semesters worth in one minor, would get, for example, a BA English with a minor in history. So there is some benefit uh, to you following uh, one minor paper through at least most of your time, okay? Um, minor papers can also be taken from other disciplines. So art students, if you want to take a minor uh, from science or a science, a minor from arts, uh, subject to any constraints in the timetable, um, you would be welcome to do that. Uh, however, you must take at least 50% from your major area, um, which means art students, majority of your papers from arts, science students, the majority of your papers are from science. Now, looking at these skill enhancement courses, I mentioned they're coming from a common pool um, under the Nagaland University syllabus. Those of you who are interested, you may look uh, up the common pool, but uh, for us, we will be offering uh, two SECs, uh, two or three in every semester. Um, definitely in the first semester, we will run aquarium and fish keeping. We will also uh, run life skill education and perhaps subject to demand, we'll offer the renewable energy program under physics department. Art students, if you want to learn about fish, you're welcome to learn about fish. Science students, if you want to learn about education, you're welcome to learn about education. It's up to you to choose uh, the paper that you will find interesting and valuable to you. Um, in the third semester, uh, most likely we'll offer gender sensitization, herbal technology, and methods of data analysis. Again, if you uh, or the student body really wants to take um, a particular paper, we will consider uh, altering those papers or offering an extra SEC. Now, looking at the latter semesters, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, if you go that far, do note that in the sixth semester, for example, you will take up four papers from your major subject. So do choose your major wisely. If you uh, take up history, you will be studying four history papers and one minor paper in the uh, sixth semester there. So. Uh, if you don't really like history and you're taking it just because somebody told you to, you may go crazy in the sixth semester when you spend most of your day studying only history. Um, those of you who go on to complete the fourth year, you will do a uh, research project worth 12 credits. That should be a project of high quality, uh, the outcomes of which can be published in peer-reviewed journals or uh, presented in conferences and seminars. Now, uh, we already have a culture here in the college. We have been sponsoring student groups, even under the old system. Uh, we've been giving out uh, 5,000 grants, uh, 5,000 rupee grants to students who want to take up uh, research projects in their spare time under the guidance of a teacher. A number of them have already published papers. 
presented in uh, national level seminars and conferences. So we have a group of faculty here who are uh, ready to guide you well in those research projects. So that's a few things about structure. A couple of other things to note, especially if you like to be different. Um, if you don't want to take a major, if you are put off by the idea of studying four papers in a major in your third year, you can consider a multidisciplinary degree where essentially you take up three minor papers throughout your degree. So here's the structure for that. You'll see in the first year, instead of having major and minor, you have three uh, ABC core papers. And across the um, time, you will have equal number of credits in those A, B, and C papers. So you can take history, poor science, uh, education as a combination of three. Uh, the remainder of uh, the structure is the same, uh, but you'll have an equal balance between uh, three papers. Uh, the limitation is that art students can choose three arts papers, science students can choose three science papers. Okay, so if you want to do that, uh, do talk to us. Uh, we will offer those programs. Um, we should also mention, again, this transfer of credits. So that is designed to allow you to move between institutions. You can also uh, take papers from SWIAM, that is online courses, and drop papers from your regular syllabus. A maximum of 40% of your credits can come through these uh, online programs, which you can take instead of uh, regular papers. And entry criteria. I already mentioned that we don't have CUET here this semester, um, but in the old days, you needed uh, 45, 50% to um, get access to an honors program. Now, entry criteria is only a class 12 class. If you've passed class 12, you can join. So why would you join? And why would you join here? Well, we're a strong, uh, we're an institution with strong Christian values. We have an excellent academic performance, many subject toppers here. All the toppers get uh, 10,000 rupees as a bonus from us. Um, we have scholarships for high performers coming from class 12. We have a beautiful 25 acre campus with plenty of space for sports and activities. We have a number of active clubs, uh, student led clubs. Uh, we organize educational tours. So we have a look at the academic side, like I say, Got plenty of toppers. Um, there they are with their fat checks. We have uh, conferences and uh, extracurricular activities going on. Here's some of those toppers. As I mentioned, we offer scholarships to those exceptional students joining the college um, from class 12. So if you have 80% or above, you will get 50% off your admissions. And if you are from the topper list, you are granted a full scholarship that is zero admission, zero regular fees from our side. These scholarships apply every semester so long as the student maintains good performance. This is not a first semester only offer. Um, if you maintain CGPA of seven and above, that is 70% equivalent, um, your discount will apply every semester that you are studying with us. Okay. What about activities? Here's our main uh, college building and a basketball out the front. Uh, we have uh, student clubs, organizing activities, um, cultural days, festivals, music, um, Miss Fresher on the first day. We've had a Lobanaga, Glutens, Abdon Mech, uh, Talian, UDX uh, performing over the last few years. Uh, plenty of time for sports, um, both modern, traditional stilt walking, greasy pole climbing. Uh, these have been there. Uh, those of you who are really keen, um, Mr. Patrick there is a Brazilian uh, FIFA qualified coach. They are running a program after hours for uh, football coaching twice a week, if you're interested. And what about going outside of campus into the big wide world? Uh, you can go, or some students have been out to do uh, surveys in the local area, uh, learn mushroom cultivation, uh, visit the music schools. Uh, we had a successful um, volleyball team and basketball team in recent years. Uh, we've had field trips to Konama, Molonkimong, um, and even as far as Delhi, Agra, Jaipur, Shillong, Sikkim. Um, our students really have traveled far and wide in the recent years. 
So if you join here, you will have those opportunities also. So that's enough from me. I hope you now understand properly the four-year undergraduate degree program. You are not worried about that and you will consider coming to join us here at St. John. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.